realm you get sent to this gentleman and he's been doing his second follow-up of PH360 so I just wanted to get an interview with somebody who's been in the game they've got a little bit of information of PH and now we're able to really start implementing what you learn in PH360 and from our coaches here in the gym yeah, and, absolutely. and start adapting that to your lifestyle so with your follow-up um, I, I mean I just heard you guys discussing a little bit about you as a person and your mindset and was there some or, or a takeaway that you got today that really resonated with you when it came to he's a diplo yeah absolutely um the the way to describe the personality traits and that that come out of the how we call it diplomats and what's what's that framework yeah, yeah the yeah, six different the, health yeah. types yeah um it's eerily accurate and um it helped me uh, kind of understand as well uh, my changes are like a cruise ship, was it explained to me today. So they're slow and um, they're over time, but they're, they're, we don't jet boat around so much. And that kind of helps me sort of understand why I like to make small changes, but permanent ones rather than big, um, sharp u turns and, and crash diets and things like that. Yeah, um, yep. Just bring in changes that I stick to. So um, we went through some of that and obviously. Um, the food we reiterated on the red food and bacon happened to be in there. I'm sure that's a mistake. <laughs> but, um, it's the the always yeah. avoid section yeah, really is, is painful avoid. sometimes yeah, I yeah. know. Absolutely but um, yeah and we've got some goals come out of it so um, one of my big things is I don't drink enough water so mm. now I've got actually a time on it as well so I've got to have that first loser by 12 so yeah, awesome. there's, there's a few other things as well but um, yeah it's it's Great really good. Place. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, I also, I mean, I've seen you in the gym already. You guys have been training down there, and yeah. now it's fully kicked off. The gym is ready to rock, and you yeah. mentioned you've been doing some training programs for the guys. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, tell us a bit about how it's been with the gym on site. Oh, it's great. There's a bit of a buzz going around at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I trained with Paulie from the warehouse. So he, uh, he's taken his first opportunity. I think he got inducted. Maybe yesterday? Yeah, yep. Um, or two days ago. Anyway, he's straight in there. Um, awesome. We did a session in the morning. Um, when I was leaving in the afternoon, he pulled up with two of his workmates. They come back to do a session again. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I trained those guys yeah. after, yeah, last yeah. night. Great. So um, there's a bit of a buzz going around. Back to back and sessions. You yeah, can't get any yeah. better than that. And he did go pretty hard last night. So yeah. to see him Brilliant. in at like, you know, 6.30 again with you, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so, um, and then uh, Romy is a volleyball player, mm -hmm. so he, he'll benefit from a lot of the stuff we've got in there, like the boxes and things, the dynamic. So we, mm -hmm. we, we do workouts with Romy for strength, but also making sure that he has that dynamic, the box jumps and things like that. So, yeah, it's not really my area, but I'm just trying to get the guys, yeah. Um, yeah, in there. using things and maybe comfortable with things that they might not touch. They might not pick up the dumbbells or the kettlebells and all this stuff. Had a workout with them previously. Yeah. Nice oh, yeah. Feeling feeling too yeah. comfortable in there is yeah. definitely uh, important for them to yeah. be able to utilize all the equipment. So yeah. it's awesome that you're assisting with them with that. And we were just talking about doing some fitness testing, and I mentioned that we're going to be having the Vulcan Games coming yes. up and some fitness yeah. tests. Uh, tell me a bit about why you believe fitness testing or you know some competitions could be beneficial to oh, absolutely um well the main thing is really it's a milestone and you can see your progress mm -hmm. so if you have different types of tests um maybe a little cardio strength based one whatever and, and different types of them um if you retest it every four six weeks or whatever you can see your gains whereas if you're working away in the box or the gym you may not necessarily feel it because it's gradual, it's over time. So you have to be able to say, oh, look, I knocked 30 seconds off, or I was the same, but you know what, it was for whatever reasons, or I've got a lot, you know, something else is happening, whatever. Yeah, but I lifted then, a little bit more weight on this one at least, and I did an extra two kettlebell swings in this test. That's right, yeah. exactly. So yeah, um, and it's just getting the test that, that uh, I think we discussed, so that it's easy to 
to be um, counted, scored on, mm -hmm. so that it, it is an accurate one. So whether it might be push-ups, but it might be hand release. So that yeah. way it is a complete so coming off the ground um, rowing for the same number of meters. Yeah, things like yeah. that. So that it's skipping again is another one. So it has to be things that are, can be um, measurable, measurable. That's what we were looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, maybe a strength, you know, strength. Um, more cardio based so just three or four of them that just cycle through yeah, yeah love that and um, that's what that's exactly what we're implementing with Vulcan games and I was just discussing this last night on our activation with uh, a strength trainer that's been in the business for over 20 years and probably one of the most important things and I think you will resonate with this because you've been in shape and as you said you're a diplo so you don't really chop and change yeah. you just know where you're going you know what the goal is but generally in your beginning of your fitness journey, you're really not gonna see those tape measure centimeters coming off. Yep. You're not gonna see the scales change. That's right. But if you do measure certain areas in the gym, like an extra push-up, an extra yep. squat, that's where you'll see those initial results really. and really keep you going past that 30 to 60 days that you know yep. are tough. Yep. We're not gonna lie to you, it can yep. be tough at the beginning, but Absolutely. once you get over that initial uh, hump, you will love it forever. It's like you just feel so great after you get out of the gym. So uh, that feedback's fantastic. I think that that's great for all the guys and that you've already been implementing that. So thank you so much. Oh, and you're welcome. Thank I'll you. see you in the gym. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks.